here he is putting the uh, yeah he is taking the fuel burners into the diffuser outer shroud which is going to meet going to finally end up at the base of the flame tube and this is the introduction into the flame tube but the anchor the carrier is the diffuser outer diffuser shroud right Okay. okay, that's fine, that's great. Now have a look. Here, this is the outer diffuser shroud. The aim of the outer diffuser shroud is the air which is coming from the exit guideway. The exit guideway, last stage of the compressor, the tenth stage of the compressor, comes into the diffuser. Here, the velocity falls and the pressure rises. The aim of the exercise is you have the lowest velocity of the air before it enters the combustion chamber. So the primary air which is entering into the <coughs> combustion chamber for ignition is at its lowest velocity and highest pressure. So the highest pressure of the system is where the maximum diffusion takes place, maximum diameter of the uh, diffuser tube is there and where it meets the compression, compression uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, the compression chamber outer casing. So here is where it meets, this one meets this one over here. Here is the highest pressure, the lowest velocity. And this is the combustion chamber outer casing. These are the thermocouples. This senses the overall temperature after the combustion has taken place before it enters the first stage of the compressor turbine, NGV. So that we know that the temperature is not above, let's say, 950 degrees. And if it is, if we give a signal to the main fuel control unit and the fuel quantity will reduce and the temperature will fall. And thereafter, this is the flame tube. <coughs> we call it the flame tube. This is the annular combustion chamber. We have eight burners on it. Uh, you can see, uh, could you just turn it around? These, uh, these burners, which are mounted on the uh, outer shroud, they go and meet and enter into the annular combustion flame tube along these eight orifices. Right? In this uh, flame tube, we have the primary air going in from here. These are called swirl chambers. The idea is to create a uh, a vortex, a rotary vortex, and the center of the vortex is at its lowest pressure, and the high pressure air or secondary air is going to be introduced from the flame to outer casing, and there is an inner casing also to keep the flame from touching the sides of the flame tube, and thereby the material, because the material uh, limitations. So the idea is to keep the flame in the center and not allow it to touch the inner or the outer tubes.